At this bird sanctuary north of Regina, Jordan Rustad spends her days catching all kinds of birds. So we have a little chipping sparrow here. She gently extracts them from a net so the research can begin. So the first thing I do is I weigh the bird. Rustad measures their wings and checks their fat levels. Then she bands them with a tracking number so their migration can be documented on a global reporting map. These little guys weigh less than a loony and they fly thousands of miles every year and it's just, it's amazing that they make it at all. <laughs> And too many don't survive. Their epic journeys to find food and breed are being altered by climate change and other factors. Rustad says over two decades, yellow warblers shifted their average migration by 15 days. Earlier in the spring, because birds, bugs are emerging a little bit earlier, so the birds need to be there so they can take advantage of that food source. And in the fall, they've kind of extended their window. They don't have to rush through as much because they're not really being uh, chased out by all this cold weather. Even more so this year because of this summer's heat dome in Western Canada. The excessive heat combined with the lack of rain in June and July forced birds to stick around even longer, stalling their migration. That can push some species over the brink. Um, so. I think there's a very, very deep concern about climate change for that reason. Shorebirds are among the most rapidly declining species in Canada. And while they normally travel thousands of kilometres to and from the far north, a growing body of evidence suggests that due to climate change, the Arctic is no longer a safe harbour for breeding and nesting. These benefits are disappearing. We postulate that animal migrations will be lot less extensive. Rustad is already seeing changes in the numbers of birds and the path they take. And so if you're seeing large changes in bird populations, you're seeing differences in their timing, you know something's going on underneath them and that's basically going to be bugs and plants and like other climate related issues. For her, the impact of climate change on bird migration is something she sees on the ground and at her fingertips. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, near Regina.